guys, welcome to Break Out Like a Boss, the podcast in the YouTube channel. If you have not logged in before, we are here to teach you how to break up, to break through like a mother boss, right? <laughs> because it doesn't matter what you do with your life if it's not about reinvention, change, and really breaking through to live the boss life that you deserve, then your life doesn't have a meaning. We are here today with one of my really good friends, Iris Telly, and we're gonna talk about a very interesting topic, right? So we talk a lot about relationships and love and dating, but today I wanna talk the combination of faith, number one, love and sex, right? Like one makes us really go into something to that we cannot have prove or know where it's gonna end up and what really makes us jump into that to create magic for example we were talking earlier about the relationship about faith and christianity and how is it possible that it moves so many people more than like any like army or air force or anything they move people on the christianity and any other religion it moves people based on faith now that word is so powerful we cannot touch it we cannot put our finger on it but why would it happen if it comes fine with sex and love what's number one two and three for you Araceli, and why um like we spoke before when we were speaking with paul i got into that conclusion because basically we got into that conclusion all of us while we were talking i got into that conclusion that definitely faith is going to be number one um, sex is gonna be number two due to the fact that love. But is she was going debating be between number one yes, and two sex, by the way. One and two. <laughs> <laughs> I and mean, she's a woman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true. So I started thinking um, that basically faith is gonna be number one, correct? But how oh. much faith should we put in? Because faith, a lot of times we get it confused that faith means jumping in the pool without knowing what's happening just because we have the good feeling that things are going to go in mm -hmm. our but way. But don't you do that in religion? Didn't you jump in that Christianity or Catholic schoolgirl pool because somebody just told you and you didn't know it was going to work everyone, out or not, but you still, we, you still jumped into but that pool? Not everyone. That's faith. Not everyone, because a lot of people are raised in religion. They grow up because their parents basically taught them But you jumped into the pool not knowing. Now you know the difference between but Catholic because they, they throw and you to the SM. pool when you were a kid. Exactly. So it's a different story. Because then we have the memory as a kid, and th this is what they teach us. Mm -hmm. So this is what all we know. And it's like like when we have our first relationship, we don't know what's going to happen because we think that everything is going to work out. And like Disneyland, we've you seen know? in Disney all, you know, happily, happily ever, ever after. after. <laughs> Nobody shows you what happens after. The happily ever after means you have yeah, to do the laundry, exactly. you have to <laughs> have joint bank accounts, you have to fight over money and work and schedules and breakfast. Who's gonna cook? Who's gonna clean? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Yeah. Nobody, uh, Disney, I'm talking to you. Nobody <laughs> tells you what happens after the happily ever after, right? Yes. Boom. So for us, it's something that we need to see it in a different perspective. I think that our biggest fears come from the fact that we have been hurt mm -hmm. we have all been hurt in different all ways us. yes of course all of us in different ways um, from your parents from from your relationships I'm saying your parents first because obviously that's the first strong relationship that you have and then I would say from your friends that you know your your maybe friends your, your friends exactly that you were in school and then they did this and then they spoke bad about you and then different little things and then when you grow up in your relationships so how how do you get back that trust because you can't be blind and just jump in thinking like like but why not court right but why not right? but why not <laughs> can we not unlearn all the exactly. all the I don't want to say trash, but w all that noise around us. Why can we not shut that down and really unlearn all the things that poison our lives, right? So we learn pleasure and pain from our childhood, right? And how we learn how to love from mom and dad or grandma, whoever was our caregiver, right? Mm -hmm. Why can we not unlearn that? I mean, they um, maybe did th this in a good intention, in a good manner, but like, why should we bring that baggage into our relationship? And I think I talked about this in other episodes of bringing 150% to a relationship because it's not about 50-50 ever. 
it's really 150 because it should be 100% full before you bring the 50 that your partner didn't get, right? And that's how you learn how to cure yourself through love because in the end, love conquers all. Why can you not have faith the same way that you got baptism or communion and you went into church really looking for answers and spiritual enlightenment? Why can you not go with the same faith into a relationship for love and sex to create and reach nirvana? Boom. 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 So I would start from the fact that when you get hurt in a relationship, in a prior relationship, you get in like on your tippy toes, right? You don't want to step on anything because you're scared of what's going to happen. Even though you want to believe at that point that you are going to you're gonna go further with that person. You think that that's, that's gonna be the person that might be the father of your kids. And you think that you're gonna share, maybe not the father of your kids, but then he's gonna share all these experiences with you and you guys are gonna walk together and inspire each other and you have all these things, but you don't know the other person. So I think that your faith is up to a certain level. And I think that it's also shared with trust. You know, and trust comes from it's, it's together because if you don't have trust there's no faith mm -hmm. if you can't trust that you know if you go into religion and there's no trust then how are you gonna say that you have faith there's no faith so that trust is built up and that trust you gain it within the time because you said this thing and you did it and then you said something else and oh you didn't do it i, I don't know so about then that you though start seeing, you start seeing like the things now, what I what I do, like what I do. Can I say something real quick be okay. before I forget? Sorry, I'm talking to my grandma <laughs> in Peru right now. If you're watching me, <laughs> right? If I would walk into church and say, "Jesus Christ, prove me that I have to have faith in you," Jesus would have fucking slap me in the face and be like, "Be a Jew or a Muslim or whatever." You know what I mean? Like, would you go into the same faith that you have? in religion will you tell your religion and your culture and your grandma and your mom and say hey you know what prove me that i have to have some freaking faith on you you know what jesus christ would do they would smack us in the face <laughs> my grandma she would probably burn us to death <laughs> okay question from the audience now i'm sorry so are you guys forgetting that That's a really it's good awesome point. Method. So it's trust, communication, right? Okay, so let's talk about first what we're doing the equation here. So communication first comes of the communication that you have with Jesus Christ. Are you talking Jesus Christ? No. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what I'm <laughs> saying. <laughs> Speak to God. <laughs> so communication, I think first you have to have faith that you're going to communicate with each other because you remember guys are from Mars and women are from Venus and most of the time <laughs> we're not communicating in the same wavelength. Yeah. So I will have faith in Jesus Christ to teach us a better way of communicating. If not, you can always sign up for my podcast and then I'm going to tell you what to do. How <laughs> to do it. <laughs> anyway, okay. So <laughs> now... Um, we were talking about religion and one, two, three, guys, what's the question? Oh, no, I was saying we have two minutes, sorry. Okay, so two minutes to talk about communication. Do you have faith that you are going to communicate with God when you go into church? No, you go into church and you hope to communicate with God. Can you go into the same, in the same way with hope and faith but and trust into a relationship? I think that once we speak about religion, we all have, like, our beliefs. And... But I it's all a spiritual belief. It though. is a spiritual belief, but I, it is very interesting. I have a friend of mine who's a Muslim, and he won the election for something in another country, and he was here. And he told me, he's like, Do you, can we go to a church? <laughs> like, what does he want to do in a church? He wants <laughs> to learn to about other faiths. No, he didn't want to learn. You know what he told me? which was super interesting. He told me, he's like, I just want to go to a place that is quiet where I can have my relationship with God. Exactly. He did not care if it mm -hmm. was a temple, yeah. a church, you know. Mm -hmm. He just cared about his relationship. And I think that that's something that moved me yeah. because it made me understand. I already understood that before yeah. in a certain level, but at that point, it made me understand 
how important it is your relationship your personal relationship which is not because you are in a place and you're not because you're talking to to, to the saint or talking to no. everyone can believe in something no. but it's the the personal relationship that you have so yeah. what you believe and your faith is in exactly. you it's not in a person it's not in someone else it's in you so when you get into a relationship and you have that faith it's in you that you are going to walk the right way so the, the faith let's highlight this the faith is in yourself exactly because you cannot give what you don't have if you don't have faith in yourself you're not going to give faith trust love abundance to the other person anybody any relationship so the first relationship you have is with yourself and yourself is what the holy spirit christ and god and yourself that's exactly what's happening here okay <laughs> because if you can talk to god in that divine way that is really completing you and fulfilling you then that's the first relationship that you have and that's what you're going to give boom 